All right, we are going to go over some basic things about how to set up a Google Classroom and make different periods or one period for all of your students, depending on what's most efficient for your specific situation. This video is the basic intro of setting one up. The next video is going to be talking about how to add assignments, um, making sure that specific students can see specific assignments or whatever works for your assignment protocol. So sample is, we all know by now that if you click this button right up here, you can create a class. And when you create a class, you're gonna have to read and understand all their notices. Um, class name, so I'm gonna put sample, whatever your class may be. And again, if you wanna divide it by section so that you can separate your students, make sure that you go ahead and do that. When you create your class, it will pop up on your dashboard and it'll go through the tutorials, which are helpful if you are new to this. The first thing that I would recommend that you do is to go up here to your settings. And if you click on settings, you will wanna change some stuff in the general sense. So if right here, students can post and comment on your announcement stream, if you don't want students to be able to post, then just click the only teachers can post or comment. So you have that option. If you are using Google Forms, then you can go and talk about the grading but don't worry about that if you are not already good at Google Forms. I'm not gonna make you guys set those up if that's not something that you are well versed in. Make sure you press save up here so that your options are saved. Okay, the next thing you will wanna do is right here, this is your class code. So if you are having students log themselves in, this will be the code that, the code that you will have to give them. When they join a class, this is the code that they will type in in order to join your Google Classroom. You have the stream, which is just for announcements. If you are posting assignments, I would not recommend putting them on your stream. This is just if you wanna post an assignment for people to see. Classwork is where you will post assignments, and I will show you how to do that on the next video. That will include posting multiple types of assignments. People will give you the list of your students that are currently enrolled in that class, but you can also add a teacher using this button right here. So if you have a co-teacher or any of your special ed teachers, if you have students with IEPs or 504s that need to have access to your Google Classroom, please make sure that you click that, you type in their email, and then you can invite those people. Amber and the rest of the administration may be sending out an email um, later, where you also have to add them to your classrooms so that they have access to those things as well. Grades is only going to be important for you if you are using Google Forms, because then it'll grade it automatically and you can upload or import those grades directly into your Google Classroom gradebook. Again, that's not something I'm going to go over right now, but if you are using Google Forms, then you will use grades. If you're just going to grade everything like you would grade normally, don't worry about the grading section of Google Classroom.